Hey, hey, this is K4A, Knowledge for All, Educational Widows YouTube channel. We are continuing with learning Scratch, with making Scratch games. And in this tutorial today, um, we are going to um, address writing the game design document, which will be used for our dress up game, which is made in Scratch. Okay, so in last video we have uh, analyzed uh, dress up game a little bit, but we haven't uh, write it down anywhere. So uh, that video and this video could be made as one video. I didn't want to do it because, as I said before, some of you will write the game design document, some won't, and also some of you will need to analyze the game only some. Uh, will not going to do that at all so uh, that's for you to choose and in this video today uh, to make game design document we will need some uh, we will need to prepare some um, stuff and um, you can uh, write it down on a paper so you will need either pencil and paper pen and paper to write down what we analyze today or maybe you don't like using pen and paper maybe you like digital uh, apps and software so maybe you are going to use some kind of software for text editing like word microsoft word or some kind of uh, open office alternative that's up to you i don't uh, uh, care or mm, whatever you find easiest to, to work in uh, go ahead and uh, if you don't like text editing software, you can use some uh, task management applications like um, Trello. Uh, we, I have used it, I think, for my uh, dress-up game, which I made in Game Maker. I think I showed that before on my YouTube channel. If not, I will uh, address Trello and some other task management application in other videos. Uh, if you don't like uh, that, you can use some kind of drawing application like Photoshop, Sketch, uh, SketchUp, or um, um, I'm going to use uh, today a Sketchbook from Autodesk, which is a free one. And um, uh, that's it. Uh, pick what you have, whatever you find easiest to work in. Is it real world pen and paper? Is it text editing software? For text editing software, if you don't have uh, word or some kind of fancy application you don't need uh, to worry about you uh, can only uh, you can just uh, right click on your uh, desktop uh, computer and uh, click on new then click on uh, text document and that will make a notepad and you can type here like game design document blah 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 and you can type here as much text as you need so that's free with windows and uh, as i said if you don't like that use whatever you want task management application drawing application whatever you need uh, so uh, in this video we are going to analyze this game again like in previous but this time uh, we are going to write it down so it will be very very similar but again i uh, uh, strongly recommend first playing a game couple of times without uh, writing because you need uh, just to see how the game works what are the game rules how long it takes you to finish it and so on and then later when you feel comfortable you make the game design document about it uh, so uh, we are going to make a dress up game I have opened the one which I made earlier but you can imagine you can watch me doing it and uh, write down your game design document following me or you can find some similar dress up game online it's again your choice uh, so uh, uh, we are going to as we have to uh, talked before to make a game we need some kind of artwork images we need some kind of code programming and we need some kind of sounds, music and sound effects. So your game design document will need all of those. We will need artwork, we will, uh, we will need to write down everything we see, 
everything which we need to code and every sound which uh, our game has. Okay, let's start with artwork first with images because that's what we see on the screen first when we start the game. Um, and let's try to write that down on our document. Okay, so I, as in previous video, I'm trying to click on the background, nothing happens, and I click on the girl, and nothing happens. I don't, so I don't need to, uh, to address coding now, just images, and what I see, artwork. So let's write that down. Take paper and uh, write that down. Artwork needed, or whatever you. You don't have to follow exact my words and um, how I uh, write it down. You can do it in your own words. Don't worry. And uh, um, instead of, for example, instead of, uh, uh, as I said here, artwork needed, you can write down, I need to make those images and then write down what you see here. So we have to make a character. What is this character? In our game, it's a, it's a girl character, but if you don't like it, you can write down, okay, it can, it can be a boy, it can be some custom-made character, like some kind of animal, superhero, whatever you want. But for this tutorial, I'm going to use this scratch image of this girl, so it's better for you to follow up that way. And other than that, I see that I have some background be, uh, behind the girl. Again, if I click on it, nothing happens. If I click on girl, nothing happens. Uh, but I need those images make made for my game. So it's first thing which I have to make is character. And second thing is background. Background can also be uh, the one from the scratch or something you made custom for your game, something original. <coughs> Okay, so I will just show you uh, how to write it down in uh, sketchbook in terms of uh, uh, just simple example, but you can use it, use the application which you want. Uh, again, imagine this is the real world paper and I'm writing down on it. So it doesn't have to be like this, which I, uh, with the, the font, with the words I used here, you can do it in your own way, you can do it like this um, dress up game, it, it's going to look ugly but no, no one cares dress up game, game I'm doing it as fast as possible so it will look ugly but who cares, it's, uh, it's only for your game development purpose okay not documents but document so I have to erase this okay and you can uh, say here something like this I need to make art code and sounds and then you go art needed or it can be instead of art needed you can say uh, art to do list because you can say that game design document is one big uh, to do list it has art to do list code to do list and sounds to do list so you write down here character background and so on. So this is how your game design document can look. It doesn't have to be better than this, no one cares as long as you can follow it. Okay, <clears throat> let's get back to our game and our game analysis. We have said so far that we need the character and background and I uh, also see four buttons on the screen. Uh, write that down also and uh, write down what uh, those buttons are called how uh, they are named in this game so we have hats button shirts button pants button and shoes button and um, write that down hats shirts pants shoes 
hats, shirts, pants, shoes. I'm not clicking on them yet. I can now start clicking to see what happens. Okay, every button shows different images. So let's analyze and write that. If I click on the hats button, I can see that three hats are shown. So write that down. Hats times three means uh, hats button shows three images. You can write it down in your own way. It doesn't have to be like I wrote it down here. So I see what kind of images he. I see this sport hat, teddy bear hat, and this Panama hat, or call it what, whatever you want, as long as you can understand what you have meant. And same goes with other buttons. If I click the shirts button, I see two shirts. You can write that down all the way as I just said it. If I click shirts button, two shirts are shown on the screen. I have wrote it down like this, shirts time 2, dinosaur shirt, pink shirt, but you can write it down in exact words. When the shirts button is clicked, I see two shirts on the screen, simple as that. Pants, two pants are shown on the screen, the blue one and pink one. You can instead of them call them, I don't know, je jeans and sweatpants, but, uh, but I call them blue and pink, no one cares. And the last button is shoes. When I click on it, I see green sport shoes, brown boots, and pink flying shoes. Like this. Write that down, and that's it. And this is actually all the, the artwork which we are going to need for our game. So, uh, that's cool. That's uh, simple and not too much work for us. Uh, because this is a simple game. As I said before, it's... Uh, much much better for you as a beginner to start with simple games and then later progress and advance to more complex okay so just let's check this once again cool that works and no i was lying when i click on those buttons i have to write down this also or because it's similar it's same images maybe not let's see if i wrote it down no i haven't but you can so you can also say um, when the sport hat um, is clicked this is but that's more the code like okay i will skip this part sorry for confusing you let's go back to let's go back to our game design documents so uh, we have uh, wrote down all the artwork which we are going to need i if you have understand me so far i haven't wrote down that i need these images on the girl because they are same as the buttons you can write that down if that confuses you i didn't but again your game design document doesn't have to be exactly the same as mine as lo as long as you can follow it on your own and make the game as I'm making it. Okay, so let's see what code do we need to make. Uh, when I started the game and when I click on the character, nothing happened. So, character doesn't need to be coded. It doesn't have any code, any programming on itself. Same with the background. Start clicking on the background and nothing happens. Why? Because background is not code. So we have to write it down. Code needed, character, no code, background, no code. Let's go to the buttons. If I click on the heads buttons, heads are shown up. If I click on the shirts buttons, shirts are shown up. If I click on the pants buttons, pants are shown up. And shoes, shoes are on the screen. So let's write that down. Buttons coding. Button heads shows three heads. If I click the button heads, three heads are shown. And what else do I have to code? I can hear pop-up sound. When I click on the heads button, I hear the pop-up sound. I see three heads and I 
see the other buttons hidden so if for example if shoes are open up and I click on heads shoes will be hidden right pants pants will be hidden shirts shirts will be hidden so there are th uh, three things which I have to code to heads button first there is a pop-up sound I have to code that then there are three heads that I sh have to show on the screen that's the second thing and the th third thing is that if some other button is open when I click on the heads that other clothing with will be hidden and I have wrote it down like this buttons coding button heads shows three heads it plays pop-up sound and it hides other clothing same is for other buttons if I click on the shirts I also hear the pop-up as with the heads so I have to call that plays pop-up sound if I click on the shirts and for example pants are open and if I click on the shirts pants will be hidden shoes will be hidden so I have to do what I have to code hides other clothing and that's it and also most important button shirts when clicked it will show up two shirts so write that down in your own words it doesn't have to be like I did it here same goes with pants if I click it I hear the pop-up sound two pants are shown on the screen and other clothing is hidden and same with shoes if I click on the shoes three shoes are shown on the screen it will pop up so, uh, pop-up sound will be heard and other clothing will be hidden so that's it that's how we describe what we have to code it was uh, maybe it was boring for some of you and uh, still strange but that's uh, something which you have to get used to if you want to code games and code more and more complex games so that was it for buttons and uh, what else do we have to code we have to code these mechanics here if i click on those heads heads will be shown if i click on the shirts shirts will be shown if i click on the pants pants will be shown on the screen shoes shoes will be shown on the screen so let's write it that down how did i do it here i said if sport head clicked show sport head on girl hide other heads on girl is that true let's see on the screen if i click the sport head uh, sorry i will have to restart if i click on the sport head the sport head will be shown and it will hide other heads if other heads are picked so let's for example sorry pick this teddy bear hat and if i click now on the sport hat teddy bear hat on the girl will be invisible and sport hat will be visible and if you paid attention i used this if sport hat clicked i haven't used it here just to show you that you can do it in your own way so you can see i s just said button shirt shows button pants shows button shoes shows instead of if button shoes is clicked from my opinion it's uh, best for you to use this if uh, something is clicked if you're a beginner so you can know later uh, easier what do you need to code and what scratch blocks you're go uh, trying to find out okay that was uh, that was for sport hat same goes wo with sorry same goes with yeah same goes with teddy bear hat and panama hat i was too lazy and i didn't have time to write it down so that this was the last slide for my game design document uh, you are not supposed to be lazy and uh, do it all the way write down uh, everything which is needed that could be a good exercise for you too uh, so write down uh, as I used 
it for sport hat use this as a template to write it down for teddy bear panama bear and other clothing so uh, write down what happens if i click the teddy bear button teddy bear is shown and if other uh, hat is shown it will be hidden and teddy bear is shown so uh, we need to code two things first of all if some other hat is picked and i pick and I click on teddy bear hat I will need first to hide this hat which is on the screen in this case it's the sport hat and second of uh, second thing I need to code is that I have to show teddy bear again two things to code here first is to hide the already visible hat if it's not the teddy bear and then show the teddy bear hat so we need to code two things and same goes with this one if this one hat is picked and i click on this panama hat i will have to first hide the teddy bear and then show this one same goes with shirts if this dinosaur shirt is on the screen selected and i click on the pink one i have first to hide this dinosaur and then show the pink one simple as that and the opposite if the pink one is on the girl and i click on the dinosaur first i have to hide this pink one and then show the dinosaur and same goes with pants you can only have one on the screen either blue one or pink one not both together one has to be hidden another one has to be shown same with shoes it's simple as that and that's it yeah it wasn't so hard as you can uh, as you have seen i hope so and that's the whole idea of a game design document just to write down what we need for our game we need artwork this this and this and we need code this 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 and this and this and so on the more complex the game is the more uh, the bigger your uh, game design document will be it will be also more complex and again you can always change it while you're making the game because that's um, natural that's how the games are made you will have changes during your uh, work on the game sometimes you will uh, have to take something out from your game because you don't uh, know how to make it or you don't have time and sometimes you will add something into your game like some characters enemies and so on because you will find it interesting and uh, you will find uh, your game looking better with new stuff and that's all as i said that's all natural and don't uh, worry about it don't uh, be afraid about it the whole idea of this is just to <coughs> show you how some kind of uh, more professional games are made which i hope we will uh, make later in later videos uh, that's it for this video thanks for watching and i hope in uh, next videos we are going finally to start making our games but analysis and writing the game design document from my point of view is good okay see you soon in next videos bye for now